The establishment of two bodies, as required under the Mental Health Act of 2012, is meant to lessen occurrence of abuse and discrimination against people with mental health disorders. Speaking at the inauguration of the tribunal and the visiting committee members, the immediate past chief executive officer for the Mental Health Authority, Professor Kwesi Ose, explained these two bodies will positively impact mental health in the country. They will impact positively on mental health care. It will ensure quality service. It will ensure human rights uh, are protected and that people will not be put in chains. You know, we've been talking, talking about shackling of patients, uh, putting people in chains, uh, equipping them, uh, assaulting them in the name of casting out demons and what not. Visiting committees will go to all places where persons with mental illnesses are kept. Uh, prayer camps, traditional healing centers, uh, even hospitals, to make sure that they are providing quality service without human rights abuses. Uh, they will ensure that their diet is adequate, illumination of light, I mean, illumination of their place of accommodation, everything well catered for. And if this is not done, they will report to the appropriate uh, bodies for sanctions to be taken. So it's going to ensure that human rights are protected. The tribunals, on the other hand, will be instruments by which a patient can report. A patient who feels admitted wrongly, maybe he or she didn't think he or she was mentally ill and has been admitted against his or her will, and it does happen sometimes, then he will report to the tribunal and within uh, 24 hours to 48 hours, the tribunal will sit to review the circumstances of the admission. And if really there is no justification for admission, they will compel the facility to discharge the person. Head of the Estelle Appear Legislative Council, Estelle Appear, urged the two bodies to work assiduously to achieve the purpose for which they were set up. We know what we've had to do. We've done it. And now we are waiting for the results. So I really would urge all of you concerned as members of the Mental Health Tribunal as well as the visiting committees to show that what we have been waiting for will work. And it is all about the quality rights of persons with mental disorder. Team leader for Ghana, Sumubi Jumedi, Laila Adwan Kamara, assured the Mental Health Authority of their continued support to tackle mental health issues in the country. We will continue to support the Mental Health Authority to ensure that the rights of people with mental health conditions are protected. And as a program, we support the Mental Health Authority's call for greater commitment to investment in mental health. Members of the Review Tribunal and the Visiting Committee are expected to commence work immediately.